The people who are buried here aren't getting their just due. Thousands of people are buried in an abandoned Knox County Cemetery. That cemetery sits off Fuller Avenue and Addison Street in East Knoxville, and historians believe it is the oldest and possibly largest African American cemetery in the Knoxville area. But generations of neglect have left it overridden with trees, brush, roads, even homes. It begs the question, who is responsible for maintaining it, and how did it get to this way? WBIR 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes explains. About once a month, George Kemp does a bit of upkeep around his family's graves. I just felt it was a natural thing to do. His uncle, cousin, an in-law, and his father are buried along Fuller Avenue near Addison Street in East Knoxville. I'm going to try to keep it as clean and presentable as possible. Because the other graves don't look like Kemp's. In fact, it's hard to even see them at all. I know even when I grew up, no one ever said this is Eastport Cemetery. It, it really just looks like a, an overgrown forest. A wasteland, the worst jungle you could possibly think of. Historian Robert McGinnis says the cemetery dates back to 1836, when a settler bought the land and set it aside for the first African-American cemetery in Knoxville. And it was primarily used by freedmen and slaves both. He believes more than 5,000 people are buried there. It's not been used now for almost 80 years that we know of. He said over the years, groups have tried to clean it up, but the vegetation just grew back. You're having to push them aside to see if there's a tombstone laying on the ground. Unless you like ticks, snakes, and spiders, and rats, I wouldn't go there. No one knows for sure the origins of the name Eastport, nor its exact boundaries. McGinnis thinks in total the cemetery is about four acres and might even go beyond Addison Avenue and Fuller Street and that roads and some houses could be built upon graves. And even its ownership is partly a mystery. Records show the land is deeded to Citizen Cemetery with no record before that. And some of it is owned by you, the taxpayer. Our surveyor actually found the grave sites. Knox County wound up getting two parcels of land through a tax sale in 2007. Before that, one parcel was city owned and the other was deeded to a Joan Seton. Charbel said the county isn't required to do anything about it, so it hasn't. Basically keep the property as is. In this case, it's a cemetery, so, and, and the property is what it is. We're not really liable to do anything further and as you've seen that property I mean it, it would cost a lot of money to completely clean it up. Money and a passion. Passion that McGinnis believes disintegrated over time. When the family goes somewhere else and there's no one left to, to go and put the flowers on or keep the graveyard trim, um, it becomes abandoned. But Kemp isn't ready to give up yet. People who are buried here aren't getting their just due because I'm sure many of the families or are, are, are no longer around. So, uh, you know, I can't, you can't put it on the families. All he can do at this point, he says, is keep his plot well kept and hope his example inspires others. If we don't appreciate it, then no one else is going to appreciate it. Stephanie Haynes, 10 News. The county said it would consider selling the land to an individual or a group who showed interest in rehabbing the cemetery, but everyone agrees it would require a massive cleanup. Coming up tomorrow, we introduce you to some folks who have successfully cleaned up abandoned cemeteries in East Tennessee, and they'll explain what it takes.